Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be a very important video for all of you college students out there. Based on the title, you might have already understood that in this video, we'll be discussing all of the internships that are going to be there in the year 2026 and we'll be discussing like a rough timeline of those internships. See, being a college student, you should already know that internships are going to be very important for you. I don't need to sell you guys on the advantages of internships, but you guys already know. First thing, of course, you'll be earning money. Imagine earning 1 lakh per month as a college student. That is going to be crazy. And apart from that, you're going to get a lot of valuable experience to put in your resume. So whenever you go for another company in the future, the recruiter or the interviewer will be able to see that, yes, you have hands-on experience and you have the experience of working in an industry-level environment. So that is going to give a great boost to your resume and it will help you in your overall career. So as a student, you should absolutely be looking out for internships and you should always have one eye open for internships so that you guys are, you know, ready for the internship and be able to grab it when the opportunity comes. But a lot of times the biggest issue that people face is that they don't know when the companies are hiring for internship. So a lot of times the deadline comes and the deadline goes, but the students don't get aware of it at the right time. A lot of times they get to know about it in the last moment and then they're not prepared for it, right? But imagine having everything beforehand imagine knowing what company is hiring for internship at what time so that you can prepare accordingly and that is what we're going to be getting in this video i'll be discussing all of the top product based companies or the top product based startups and i'll be discussing when they're hiring for internship so that you guys can prepare accordingly and make sure that you don't miss any of these internships because these are going to be very important so let's start with our first company that is goldman sachs so goldman sachs has for summer analysts as a part of their internship hiring summer internship hiring now this time also, of course, they hired. A lot of you guys may have already missed it. If you missed it this time, do not miss it next year. So this happens around July to August. This year, it happened in July as well. And this is open for all final year and pre-final year students. And the stipend for this is going to be 1 lakh per month, which is, again, a great thing. And Goldman Sachs itself is a great company. And once you intern in there, you have a chance of getting converted with a PPO. In fact, we've had an intern of Goldman Sachs on our channel who has explained the entire process about how Goldman Sachs hires and how you can clear it. So you can make sure to watch that video as well if you're interested to know more about the hiring process. Hi everyone, before we go into the rest of the video, just a quick announcement. Educative is having the biggest sale right now. So if you're someone who's serious about cracking your dream company in 2026, then you must check it out because they have gotten everything covered all the way from problem solving, system design to development, pretty much everything that you need to crack the top companies interviews. And on top of that, they have AI-based mock interviews where AI will take your interview just like in the real world and give you feedback so that you're fully prepared for the real interviews. And you're getting all of this under one subscription. And right now you're getting more than 70% off on that subscription. But it is a limited time period offer only. You can check it out from the link in the description box. See it for yourself. And now let's get back to the video. Now, next up, we have Mintra. Mintra, as you guys already know, is a great company. Now, Mintra hires two ways. In fact, this year also, we had seen two hirings of Mintra. One is, of course, Mintra Hacker Ramp, which is for women candidates. So it is for girl candidates only. And in that, the eligibility is third year or fourth year students. This time, it happened around August. So pretty much the same time next year, it, you can expect it to happen. Apart from that, you had Mintra Ramp Up, which was for open for all. Basically, it was for SD internship again. And that was open for all. And that was for final year students. And this time it happened on September, around September 5th, if I'm not wrong. In fact, I had made a video about the entire process. You can watch that video as well. So this is like the timeline they followed this year. And pretty much the same timeline we can expect next year, right? Between August, September, during this quarter, so to speak, right? Of course, we cannot predict the exact moment, but basically the couple of months, right, that it is into, you can expect it to be in the same couple of months next year. The stipend again is pretty decent. It is around 70k per month, which is again a pretty great stipend. And of course, the company is a great company as well. So make sure that you do not miss out on this. And if you want to know more about the process, you can watch the video that I made for it this year. Next up, we have GSOC. So GSOC pretty much happens around January to March. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't know about GSOC. So Jan to March is like the rough deadline for it. And of course, the stipend for GSOC is again crazy. You have a stipend of around 2 lakhs per month which is pretty much on the highest end of any internship, right? So it's a great thing that all of you open source enthusiasts should take part in. In fact, I've made an entire video about GSOC from two people who have cracked GSOC. You can watch those videos if you want to know more about how to crack GSOC. But again, it's a great opportunity and the timeline that I mentioned will be around January to March. And of course, the tag of GSOC is very important. 
Once you get a tag of GSOC in your resume, trust me, every recruiter, every interviewer is sure to gonna get impressed by it. Now, next up, we have Uber Hack Tag. So, Uber Hack Tag is basically for engineering students, and this happens around January to Feb, January to March. You can expect. So, basically, in the next quarter, you will be seeing Uber Hack Tag. Now, for this, of course, you need to have good problem solving skills. You guys already know how Uber is and the type of problems that they have. So this is again a great opportunity and if you want to prepare for it then of course make sure to focus on DSA. Again the timeline for this is going to be around January to February or January to March. Basically in the next quarter you will be seeing this one. Now next up we have Flipkart. So Flipkart hires from a variety of challenges that they use for internship. First one of course we are going to discuss is Flipkart Red which is open to all basically. And this time it happened in around June and if I'm not wrong, again, I made a video about Flipkart Great. You can watch that video. It covers the entire process. So this time it happened around June end and August, September were where the processes were there. So around the same time, you can expect it to be next year, like around the same couple of months, like I mentioned. And again, Flipkart Great is open to all. So this is something that you guys should absolutely be serious about. If you want more resources, then I'll give you guys some resources in the description box from the winners of the previous Flipkart grids. Okay. Apart from that, Flipkart has some women only challenges as well. So they have Flipkart Runway and they have Flipkart Girls Wanna Code. Girls Wanna Code is in fact live right now. If you guys want to go for it, it's live right now. And of course, in the next year, it's going to be around the same time, which is going to be year end. Okay, and Flipkart Runway is again for women students, which is going to be there around the time of March to April. And Flipkart as a company provides an internship of around 1 lakh per month, which is again pretty decent and is on the higher end of the spectrum. Next up, we have EY. So EY being one of the big four companies, of course, it is always in demand. So if you want to get into EY as an intern, then you need to be looking out for EY Techathon. This year, they hosted EY Techathon 6.0. Again, I had made an entire video about the entire process and how to crack it. And this time it happened around September. So basically September to November is that is the time area where they'll be hosting this. This time they had 6.2 and the stipend for this is going to be 40k per month. This is again open to all engineering graduates. So this is something that you guys again should have an eye open for and make sure that you're prepared for it accordingly. See, you'll be seeing a lot of hiring based hackathons as well. This video is not focused towards that. If you guys want a complete video about the hackathons that will be happening in 2026, then do let me know in the comments and I'll be bringing an entire calendar for all of the hackathons that will be there so that you guys can form a team and you know start preparing for it beforehand. So if you need a calendar for the hackathons, do let me know in the comments for that as well. Now next up we have Microsoft Engage. So Microsoft Engage is a mentorship program that is for second year and third year student. It generally happens around May to June and in there you may get a chance to get PPIs with Microsoft as well. And of course you guys already know the internship that Microsoft pays which is pretty much not of 1 lakh per month. So again, this is a great opportunity that absolutely you guys should have one eye open for. Now, next up we have JP Morgan. So JP Morgan hires via Code for Good and they hire for both full-time role and for internship for both third year and fourth year student. And JP Morgan again is a great company to work at. This happens around March. March to April is basically the time that, you know, it can happen in. And we've had three employees from JP Morgan come on our channel and they've explained in details about the interview process and everything that will be there. So if you want to know more about JP Morgan Code for Good or if you want to crack JP Morgan, I highly recommend that you go and watch those videos. They are from employees who have won Code for Good, right? So you can watch those videos and you'll be pretty much knowing how to prepare for it. The timeline again is pretty much around March to April for this. Now next up we have Adobe. So Adobe doesn't have a hiring program as such, but they do hire for internship around August to September. That is the time that they usually hire basically. And they hire for pre-final and final year students. So that is the eligibility. And the internship stipend that you'll be getting in Adobe is again pretty decent. It is 70k per month going up to 1 lakh per month. So these are some of the popular companies and popular hiring challenges that we have. Apart from that, of course, we have a ton of other companies that will be hiring for internship. We have Morgan Stanley, we have American Express, we have Visa, we have Mastercard. We have a ton of other companies, right? And most of them are going to be hiring between the second and third quarter. That is what I feel the prime time is going to be right so of course you should be ready for that you have the next quarter the next three or four months to prepare accordingly and of course one thing that you can do is subscribe to the channel because of course you guys already know whenever an opportunity comes i make a video on it so you'll be seeing it first on my channel so make sure that you subscribe for it and make sure that you turn the notification on apart from that one thing that i highly recommend for you guys of course these companies product based companies top companies are great to aim for but apart from that you can aim for startups as well of course, startups do not follow a timeline, 
they do not have a set timeline that they're going for they're hiring pretty much year around and it's very easy to get into them as well and once you get into a startup you'll be getting a lot of industry level experience you'll be getting a lot of development experience that a lot of these companies will not be giving you because in a startup you'll be handling a lot of things at once right so if you get the time or if you feel like you're prepared then make sure that you apply for startups as well okay and apart from these if i missed any other internship opportunities i'll make sure to put them in the description box so you can check the description box out as well and like i already mentioned if you want a hackathon calendar as well then i'll make a list and i'll make a video on that just let me know in the comments okay and it is very important to focus on preparation make sure that you prepare so whenever an opportunity comes you will be able to crack it so focus on preparation keep an eye out for all of the openings and of course subscribe to the channel and if you need another calendar for the hackathons do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to make one for you and if you need any one to one guidance or one to one mentorship for you to know how to prepare for these companies or how to crack the interviews or any other thing you need help about then you can connect one to one with me the link for that is going to be in the description box so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching if any details are missing i'll put the i'll put it in the description box let's see you guys in the next video